I mean, what what other barometer would you use for Hall of Fame Not induction? Elon what other what criteria would you use other than accolades? It's kind of comes down to either you get crazy team success, which is more so of the argument for Eli. He's part of two Super Bowls. Or you have crazy individual success. You got a couple yeah, but MVPs. That, but Eli is also like in the top oh yeah, 10 that, of yeah, all of these categories down, too. It comes down to durability a lot too. Like that's why Eli's there. I know Matt Ryan is, nobody ever talked about it. Matt Ryan is really high up there in yep. individual statistics. He's, uh, I think he's like right behind fucking Rivers. And he should surpass Rivers in like a year and a half or something. If, if Matt Ryan ended up winning that Super Bowl against the Patriots, and, and is he a, a Hall of Fame quarterback? 100%. I think, maybe I'm biased, I think he should be a Hall of Fame quarterback right now because, all right, don't <laughs> shake your head. Because he, he is more yards than Stafford, doesn't he? Yeah, he's on pace. Bro, there, was, play there, there, was like two there was like two seasons, bro, he couldn't get the ball to Julio Jones in the end zone, bro. It was, that was that weird, was like, That was fine, though. We were still, we were still doing our thing. All right, Matt Ryan has not had a bottom he's had an offense that's in the top half of the league every single year of his career besides like two and every single year of his career our defense has been in the bottom half of the league every single year besides like two or three and a lot of times by bottom half it's like 28th or and worse 27th and worse he just hasn't been supported but he's put up the numbers consistently he's only had one super bowl appearance if he wins that super bowl it's like you got to put him in but it's okay. like matt ryan was he had a perfect passer rating in that super bowl so it's you also like, got to put him in because then it's like we got to open the door for nick for uh what nick Foles. we, we got to open, open the door, the for, door for eli but nick Foles. but what eli, you're saying is, on, is different bro, nick, on, it's not about the super bowl it, it, the super bowl helps it's about what you did and then can you add to it like Nick Foles isn't even hasn't I don't even know if Nick Foles has started a 16 game. Yeah, season. what he did What's isn't that? there. Like he the Super Bowl yeah. would have been an additional like yeah. cherry on top, but he didn't do anything to like build yeah, it right. up. To, like to Matt thing. Ryan is gonna get into the Hall of Fame, but the thing is his legacy will always be, in my opinion, right there with like Marino if he doesn't win a Super Bowl. Because you're like, wow, look at these stats, look how good he was. But because quarterback success is measured in wins, he doesn't have that that trophy, even though it's not his fault. That's what he'll will be his knock. But he has an MVP. He, he's been to the Super Bowl. He, he didn't play bad in it. Had a top ten offense. Of see, I kind of I kind of did. I think the opposite on that a little. I see your point, um, Kyle. But like, especially with the Marino stuff, when you look at his stats in totality, but like. I think he's going to be a victim of the era that he plays in where people are going to look at his stats and go the other way and be like, look at the era that he played in where the quarterback is protected in such a way. It's a it's a game that's more open. They pass the ball more. And then if you look at his receivers that he's played with over his career, you know, like he played with better you know weapons than Eli Manning by far throughout his career. I mean, it's hard to argue against that. So like and I. I'm not somebody who's like super pro Eli in the hall. I understand why people would think that he's not deserving. But if you look at that, he even played with better receivers than Matthew Stafford. I disagree with that. Well, I mean, not he, not until this year. Calvin, I'm saying Calvin, in Detroit. Calvin Johnson and Julio are the same yeah, they receiver. Like. Right there, right. right there. And then you add Cooper Cup. Nobody on the Falcons is Cooper Cup. Up until this season is what I'm saying. Even before that, you add... Calvin Johnson and Julio right around each other. Then you have Galladay is right there with maybe Calvin Ridley. And then, or if you even Roddy want to White. Maybe Roddy White. Yeah. The only thing I would maybe give him is that he did have a Hall of Fame tight end in Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez at the late stages of his career, yeah. But again, that's not, for me, that's not, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, but that's why he's better than Eli. Because then I'd be like, well, Eli had two Hall of Famers on his defensive line. Eli had a Hall of Famer head coach. <laughs> And Eli wasn't putting up crazy offensive numbers. Who was he throwing to? Victor Cruz. Jeremy Shockey. Plaxico Burris. Super Bowl champion Victor Cruz. Super Bowl but he had, he, Eli had a kind of like a, rev, a revolving door of kind of like weapons. Like he yes. had, right. he had, um, he they had came Plexico. with the windows. Within the championship windows, that's when he had the talent. 
and what he did with the talent, he won championships. After that, I mean, I think when we got Saquon and Odell, I mean, Eli was just like an old man at that point. But, you know, we couldn't protect him. We could have never, we never protected Eli, bro. And his numbers show, you know, he he delivered the, some of the greatest performances for us, for all of us. He, he like, I don't know the exact number, but it's like, uh, think about those fourth quarter comebacks. He dominated that for a long time, bro. And that's what I'm saying. Like Eli has, he's Stafford more has memorable. Has and he Stafford did has a lot of game-winning drives and like yeah, it's like you and you and you do it in, a, in in the largest market, bro, in New York. You shouldn't get in the There's Hall of Fame lot. because you did it in the largest market. Like uh, that's that has you have no control over the market you were in. I think market does play a role it though matters. because the smaller market you're in, the more you're easy to overlook. But I don't think I don't think you should get in because you were in a bigger market. That's what but, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Market you doesn't have anything to do with shouldn't have anything to do with the voting. Oh, I, I'll, I'll vote Eli because he was on the Giants, but I won't vote this guy because he was on Atlanta. Because no, but but I think Daniel was saying that the market helps him because he's playing in a tougher market in a t right. for a tougher fan base. Right, right. More pressure to deliver every game. And he didn't, but most of them. <laughs> <laughs> He just delivered wow. those two times, those two years. Against who, though? <laughs> Brady in his prime. Brady in his prime. We're talking about prime Brady. We're not talking about It's not like, okay, Eli. He didn't, Brady. He didn't We're not talking about 42 like years old. Yeah, Brady. exactly. Like he, he, he went, a Hall of Fame offense went up against a, a, a Hall of Fame defense, and the defense won because back in 07, defense still won championships. Defense has won championships back then, yeah, all the time. Damn. Were they a Hall of Fame Maybe defense, both though? Both those teams we played were Hall of Fame defenses, bro. Were they a Hall of Fame defense, though? Who, the Giants? I yeah. don't know if they were entirely a Hall of Fame defense. They played fucking Hall of Fame Over, defense that overall. night. Or did they get... Or did we they get Jeffy hot Tuck. at the right time? Because right. I felt like both those Super Bowl runs, yeah, we did. The second time we had talk. But I felt like those two runs, we I'm not saying they had bad defenses. They had great talent on defense. But they it seemed like they gelled at the right time. It wasn't like they were the Ravens defense or the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. You know, like it's not like people put them in that kind of like on that pedestal. It's not like somebody a defense that we'll be talking about for the next 20 years or whatever. Like nobody remembers them like that. Yeah, to be I fair. Just, I just think the Giants defense had like the perfect recipe to beat Brady, which is a strong defensive line that could put pressure on him because Brady's not moving around crazy in the pocket. But I, I wouldn't say they had a Hall of Fame defense, but I mean the line was crazy. The line yeah, be the, the Hall line. of Fame quarterback, we beat a Hall of Fame coach, Hall of Fame tight end. But we Eli did didn't do it. The Giants That's did that. Oh, Eli, Eli made some plays when it was showtime. Here's the thing, too, though. Eli's first run at the Super Bowl, he played all his games on the road. I think they were a wild card team. Wild right? card team, saying. bro. Yeah. Wild so card team, bro. I believe the first round game they played <laughs> at Tampa. I forgot who the QB was. I think it might have been, uh, was Trash. it Bradshaw? Bradshaw? Terry Bradshaw? Not Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> what what year are we talking <laughs> about? So, the dude on TV? The ball dude? Oh. Uh, nah. What year are you talking about? What was their first uh, Super Bowl? It was 2007. So you had Michael Strahan, who's going to be in the Hall of Fame, and the D-line. Well, he is in the Hall of Fame, I think. Okay, he is in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. OCU Minora. Not a Hall of Famer. Not a Hall of Famer, but a good player. So Matthias Kiwanuka, Barry Cofield, Sam Madison, very good corner. Yes. Aaron Ross. Even though he was older with us, but he was good. Yeah. But you're getting in that veteran corner, which does help. You had a you had a solid defensive roster. No, we had a good, we had a really good defense. So that's just, why I think I went with the Hall of Fame because I just attributed uh, Strahan with being the leader of it. But in that run, he went on the road, beat Dallas and Romo in Dallas. Who never did well in the playoffs. They beat they, but Dallas Dallas was a better team than us. Though. Was was that they the won year a division that year? No, 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 no. That's the second run. And then the next game they played in the NFC Championship game, Favre, you know, and the Packers in the cold weather, the whole uh, Tom Coughlin game where his face was about to fall off. And then they played Brady in the Super Bowl. So, like, he went through, like, a who's who of quarterbacks for that era. 
to be fair. It's not like he was going against. Man, you can't call Romo who's who. <laughs> I know, that's tough. Nah, Romo but, has always bro. kind of been clowned. It, you know what I mean? Like, we love Romo now, and, you know, we respect him, but he was always clowned back then. He hadn't really proven it. Listen, not everybody has success in the playoffs. It's just the way it goes. Some people are just not going to play well in the playoffs. But in terms of quarterback production, Romo was always at the top of the league during that era. I mean, can you call Romo a bad quarterback? Or would you? Call, no, or, no, or, I wouldn't call him a bad quarterback. Would you put Romo in the Hall of Fame? No. No. Okay. And career-wise, Stafford, compare Stafford to Romo, how do you feel? Stafford's got the ring. St Stafford got him. Stafford got him. I think Stafford has more years ahead to, to definitely Solidify lap a couple, that. Like, yeah, lap a couple quarterbacks that right now are, are above him because you know, being, I mean, bro, being in Detroit was just not good for him. Being in, being in this market he in with the coaching he has, he's about to turn up. He's about to turn that corner and we're about to see some, we're about to see some good numbers from him next year, definitely. So we decided Stafford, not yet a Hall of Famer, but has a good chance to become one. Yeah. I agree. I knew once we started getting into like Eli talk, like it was about to go crazy. Like it was about yo, to go why crazy. do people, yo, why do people, in their heart about Eli like this. Man. I think I think Eli is a good like kind of like measurement for Hulk because he's right at the line of like who you're gonna let in and who doesn't belong in. So if you're talking about Hall of Fame quarterbacks, it's like you throw Eli there because he's a good test. If he if he did more than Eli, I think he gets in because Eli's just on the cusp and people would put him in. I think That's Eli's awesome. an example of why you shouldn't play too long. I mean, this is like a stupid logic I'm kind of coming up with, but it's like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a less is more kind of person. And it's like, if your career, if you were able to dominate your first seven careers and you struggle like the next seven, that last seven is all we remember. Okay, so yeah, so like, if Eli would have retired after the second Super Bowl ring, it's, it's easy Hall of Fame, we thinking. Oh no. Hell, hell no. Okay. I'm just... After the second Super Bowl ring, no, it's not easy. Nah, look no, at his no. numbers. No. That would have been but, tough, bro. yeah, because his numbers are just so mediocre. Like mm -hmm. And it's only two Super Bowls. It's not five where I'm like, oh man, this guy's broke Montana. He's right there. Bro, name like, me name name how many two how many two time Super Bowl Bowls? Ben Aikman. Are they two time Super Bowl MVPs? No, yes. that's not because they gave it to Holmes. Oh, the the oh, okay, okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, then, but, you but, so, no, they're not right. You got Bradshaw. You got. No, no, no. Steve Young. Eli has, he, <laughs> you got Brady. Eli only two times Super Bowl MVP because they couldn't give it to the whole defensive line. And they should have given it to David Tyree in the first one. Let's be That's real. Great. Yeah, that's like holy shit. <laughs>